morning you guys oh that's so sour welcome back to a new vlog i am up bright and early on this wonderful saturday morning today is october 7th which means that is my husband's birthday but sadly i do not get to share his birthday with him because he is working today that's a bummer but we celebrated last night so it is what it is it is currently 7 27 and i've been up since 5 20 since he left for work i just couldn't go back to bed so i was just scrolling on my phone and then at 6 15 i put my phone down trying to go back to sleep but baby girl was just kicking away and and I just wasn't tired, like I couldn't get back to sleep. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get up early and I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm gonna stop and get a coffee and donuts. And I'm gonna hopefully go to a farmer's market and find some sourdough. I've been wanting sourdough bread forever now. And I am just like tired of not trying to get it. I've never made it. It's on my bucket list to make eventually sometime. It's just not happening right now. But my friend gave me an idea that I could like look up places or farmer's markets and like try and buy it because that's what she does. So I'm gonna try and go find some sourdough bread because I love sourdough bread. It's so good. I probably have a unhealthy eating day ahead of me. So that's why I'm getting in my fresh lemon water to get everything flowing and to get, you know, all the bad toxins out before I fill it with more bad toxins today. <laughs> I have a birthday party for my friend's son at three i think so cake and ice cream will probably be had and then i just want to treat myself to i don't know if i want a pumpkin bread from starbucks or if i want to go get a donut we'll have to decide on the way there but i'm currently dressed for winter because it's winter out. It's 36 degrees, which I love that. Ugg season, some black leggings, which I'm surprised fit me comfortably. They're not too bad. And then I don't know where this top is from. It's like a hoodie and I love it. I ordered, what is it called? That like subscription box where they send you clothes. You can send them back if you want. Stitch fix maybe, <laughs> like six years ago. And I, this is the only thing I kept and I love it. I don't know what brand it is, don't know where it's from, but it's so comfortable. And then this is a little checkered jacket that I got from Shein last fall or two falls ago. I don't know. And then I got to support my Huskers because they kicked some booty last night. But yeah, I'm just going to finish this. I don't think I've ever done this after brushing my teeth and it's so bad. Ugh, do this pre-teeth pre brushing. Oh, but yeah, I meant to give a short intro, but you get the intro that you get. But let's go to the farmer's market. Mm. Okay, so I just got to the farmer's market and I stopped to get Starbucks and I ended up getting a pumpkin cream cheese muffin, which I've never had before. Also, I got the Grande Brown Sugar Oat Milk Shaken Espresso. I didn't say iced, but I didn't know that it didn't come iced, which I don't, I don't care. I would get iced all year round. I just prefer iced, but this morning I was kind of like, ooh, let me try a hot drink. But they're like, nope, but look at this. It looks so good. Don't mind the dust on my, my car, it's dirty. I was gonna get a donut at a different place. I was like, I just, I wanna stop at one place. I don't know, I still might later. Don't judge me, <laughs> but let's try this. I would have vlogged, but I was on the phone with Jared. The Walmart that I was gonna go to is like right in front of the Starbucks and there were like five cop cars sitting out front with the lights on. So I was like, uh, we're just gonna hang off on that for a little bit until there's not anything going on there. First bite. Oh my God. Oh my god. 
This is so good. Are you kidding me? How have I never had this before? Mmm. Wow. Delicious. What I usually do is take a drink of my oat milk espresso, which I forgot to get decaf or half-calf, so <laughs> probably won't be drinking all of this today. I don't know. We'll see. And then you take a bite. Um, usually it's banana bread or pumpkin bread, but it's just good too. Wow, I'm obsessed. If you haven't tried this, try it. Freaking delicious. I'm at the farmer's market. I'm gonna go look around, see what I can find, and then go get groceries. thing off it's hurting my head my hair is crazy so ignore that but I freaking uh right when I got to Walmart I went to the bathroom because I had to pee really bad and as I was washing my hands I turned around just to like look at my leggings there are like four holes in the butt of my leggings and I walked around the whole entire farmer's market like that. And thankfully I went to the bathroom before I walked around the whole Walmart. So I just took my jacket off and like put it around my waist. But I'm like, duh Chanel, you cannot fit into pre-pregnancy stuff. Like, what are you thinking? I'm actually pretty sure these holes were already there. So yeah, needless to say, I got new leggings. Um, but I'm gonna give you a quick grocery haul because I'm actually kind of excited about most of the stuff I got. I didn't get a lot of stuff, but we're gonna go through everything. First, I'll show you the clothes that I got. I got a new bra because I just am growing out of everything. Hopefully this works. I have literally no idea what size I am, but I got a 38 double D. Hopefully that covers the tatas. So I'm tired of them hanging out. I got a card for the birthday party today, and then I just got cash out. I'm gonna give him cash because I don't know what else to get him. And as I said, some new leggings. These are literally five. 96. I think these are the same leggings as these, only I got them in an extra large. So hopefully these fit the growing bump for a while and don't split on me. And then I talked about it in my last vlog. I was freezing yesterday, but I had no sweats that fit me to put on. So I just was wearing a hoodie with no bottoms. So I picked up another sweat set from Walmart. I have this exact sweat set in black and in brown, which I tried to wear the brown ones yesterday and they didn't fit, but I love these. They're the Athletic Works brand. They're joggers and I got the bottoms in a size extra large. They look like they will fit a growing bump for a while. These are so soft and comfortable. I love them. And I also got the, whoa, I almost lost my ring. The matching hoodie. And I got it in this olive green color. I almost got gray, but I'm like, you have literally everything gray and black. So branch out and get something else. And I really like this hoodie too, because it like has a split right here on the sides. And so it easily will fit a growing bump. And they're just so freaking soft and cozy. I got this in an extra large too. And that's all I got clothes wise, but I got Got some organic free range eggs, some bananas. I think either tonight or tomorrow, I'm gonna try and make this, what is it? I don't know, Lauren Doan shared it on her story this morning and I saw it at like 5 a.m. when I was browsing. It's like a cream cheese maple pumpkin bread or something like that. It looks amazing. So I needed some more bananas. I got two chicken pot pies. I love my chicken pot pies. Fiesta cheese. We go through cheese like crazy around here. And then I think I'm actually gonna make a grilled cheese for lunch with some tomato soup that I got. And typically I just buy like a uh, slice, like the American and slices of cheese but I was just like looking and these are so much better for you they don't have a ton of ingredients and stuff so I got like the pre-sliced mild cheddar and Colby Jack we'll see how these are but literally it's only pasteurized milk cheese culture and salt the other like slices like I had like 80 ingredients so we're gonna try this I really kind of like 
paid attention to a lot of the ingredients today, except for this. This one has a lot of ingredients, but whatever. And then I got more grapes. Love me some grapes. Oh, my back hurts so bad. I got some chicken bone broth because I used to drink this in the evenings like tea, and it's got nine grams of protein, and it's just like, it just warms you up like tea, and it's like just added protein at the end of the night. I got some avocado oil mayo, organic lentil soup. Soup season is my favorite, so I had to. Then I got some butternut squash creamy soup. I've never tried a butternut squash like already made, like I've made it before, but I thought I would just get that. And then this is the organic tomato creamy soup that I'm probably gonna warm up for lunch. It just sounds good. And then I needed more flour to make that dessert I was telling you about. So I got the King Arthur's all purpose flour, which this is one of the ingredients the ones that I was talking about ingredients wise, like it's just so much better for you than like the off brands and stuff. Really trying to get back into paying attention to ingredients and stuff. And then I got some cream cheese for the dessert and also some salted butter. Some ragu simply traditional sauce. If you're gonna get like marinara sauce or whatever, get the ragu and get the simply ones because it's the best freaking ingredients. There's literally no shit in it and it's so cheap. Like this thing was $2. I like the Rayos, but the Rayos is expensive and that's like the same stuff and just as good in my opinion and it's cheaper. I got some more maple syrup. This is the organic 100% pure maple syrup for the dessert thing I'm talking gonna make. I got some more Greek yogurt. I did that and then I realized that I forgot to get like a gift card or cash back. So I decided to go back and get something else so I could get cash back for the gift. So I just picked up a little book for my little peanut. It's called My Pumpkin and I figured I could read it to her and it's so cute actually. I wanted like a fall book but I didn't want really like Halloween, you know? So this was cute and it was like $4 and then I got cash back with that. But the most exciting purchase that I made today. I'm so excited. Dun, da, da, da. I found some sourdough and I'm so happy. And this is why I want to make a grilled cheese. I want to eat some sourdough right now. It smells amazing. But yeah, I need to put all this stuff away and then I'm going to make me some lunch because baby girl and I are hungry. It smells phenomenal. So I left my tripod in the kitchen. So you're currently sitting on a cup, so bear with me. But this is like the prettiest grilled cheese that I've ever made by far and it looks so good. Did I show you guys? Look at her. She is looking so yum. I can't wait to try it. The tomato soup I already tried it. It's so good. It's far better than any of like the canned tomato soup that I've gotten. So we'll now be going with this tomato soup from now on. Mmm, so good. I didn't bring a napkin. I thought I did. This is terrible. I know I'm gonna get it on me, but let's try her. It's so good. I'm like what? Oh my god, it's so good. That's all I know how to say. It's so good because it just leaves me speechless. Wow, I'm a happy girl. It's now 2.29. I am just now getting ready. I am now, well, I started to feel very, very tired after I ate dinner or lunch. And I did edit for a little bit. And then at 1.30, I set my alarm for two to like take a little snooze, just a 30 minute snooze. And I couldn't fall asleep. I feel like I rested a little bit, but I never actually like fell asleep. And then I snoozed it, but I didn't fall back asleep. I just kept laying there watching football but I've decided it's time to finally get up and get a little bit put together for the birthday party. I forgot to tell you guys the whole time when I was walking throughout Walmart I was like do not forget to tell the vlog do not forget to tell the vlog. What I do I forgot to tell the vlog. But anyway, when I was at Walmart, I was just walking through like the baby stuff. I didn't buy anything baby or whatever, but I was just walking and browsing on my way over to like the grocery aisle. And I like was barely even stopped for like 
two seconds in front of like the strollers and I started to walk away and then this guy who's probably like in his mid 40s maybe 50s early 50s he wasn't old at all but um like I obviously don't know him and he was just like walking past me and he's like how much longer you got <laughs> I was like, kind of like taken aback. Not that that bothers me, like just because I don't, I don't care. But like somebody that like, I guess is more sensitive. I don't really know that that's like appropriate to ask. I don't know. Cause like you really couldn't see my bump that, I mean you could, but I don't know. I just thought it was weird for a guy to ask me that that like I don't even know but I was just like oh January he's like oh that's coming soon and like just kept walking <laughs> it was a very short combo but I was just thrown off by like just some random guy asking me which again like I didn't take offense to it like I don't care and then like two minutes later I was standing in front of like the butter and then this older gentleman who's probably like in his 60s 70s ish he just like came up to me and was like congrats i was like thank you <laughs> like it was so weird like i've never had anyone like random well i mean i have but not males it's not males that come up to me and like talk to me about my pregnancy but like he was so sweet he just like sat there and talked to me for like five minutes probably about like him having kids and his grandkids and how he just cried when he had his daughter i don't know it was really sweet but i was just really thrown off that it was two males that came up and talked to me but yeah i just thought that was interesting and i wanted to share it i need to clean this house so freaking bad it is disgusting but i don't have the energy today that'll probably be like a sunday reset thing not a today thing that's a tomorrow thing because i have too much going on and i'm tired and my feet hurt so I'm back home from the birthday party and I did zero vlogging while I was there. It's 8.16 and I was there for a good four hours. I left at like 7.30 and I got there at 3.30. So we're there for a while, but it's just good to catch up with everybody. I had some snack food there. Like they had like chips and Rotel and stuff like that, corn dip, and of course cupcakes and ice cream. So I'm like hungry, but I'm not like hungry for like an actual meal. So I'm just gonna have some club crackers. I figured I had enough sugar today as it is and if i still am hungry after that i'm gonna have some whoops cheese it's but yeah i uh, the plan for the rest of the evening is to lay here in bed watch football and edit the vlog for monday that's about it so i will see you guys in the morning good morning you guys it is my apple watch must have died i think it's like 11 50 maybe i just got home from church come on dogs and i'm about to get started on a very crazy busy day i need to actually sit down and make a to-do list because trying to remember everything that i need to do today and my pregnancy brain just don't go together so i need to write it down but first i'm about to pee my pants so before i sit down and make my to-do list i just want to be a thousand percent transparent with you our house is so messy right now like it is probably the worst it's ever been <sighs> one because we've just been busy um and we haven't had time to do anything and two i don't know what the two is but it's just <laughs> messy but that is on the to-do list today to get it cleaned up which i'm already dreading but let me show you because i want to always keep it real on this channel and just show you that things get behind and it's okay in the season of life that we're in and that if you are feeling like you are just living in mess right now you are not alone this is the state of our living room i have stuff all over i just filmed a dress the bump this morning which i'll show you my outfit today what are you doing that dress I tried on and like, so I need to wash it. A pile of dirty clothes that need to be put in here because we need to do laundry. Today's Sunday. You have me wrapped up in your blanket. I'm stuck. <laughs> Honey, let go. I need to put my boots away. These are my pile of clothes that I just got that I need to put away. I kind of got hungry last night, like I showed you guys, that need to be put away. It is Sunday, so that means it is wash the sheets day i just don't know if that's gonna happen today that actually might have to hold off till tomorrow or wednesday we'll see this is where it gets really 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 disgusting so just don't judge but look at this mess of a stove this is still from when i made soup cornbread or grilled cheese last night this is i just got yesterday at the store i need to put it away we have cookies old king's hawaiian rolls just stuff needs to be cleaned up and then over here is so bad like 
the dishwasher is clean so like all the dirty dishes are overtaking the counter and it's so bad how many times am i going to say that and then jared's mail and stuff is all right there along with his like book for class that he has all this needs cleaned this i actually love having it here it's my vanity but sadly i think it's getting picked up today i think my aunt and uncle are going to come pick it up that's a bag of clothes that's going to my cousin actually it's shoes there's so much hair on the floor i don't think you'll be able to see it but there's so much hair collected you know around it and all over the floor because our Rhonda has just decided to quit on us i think she just never charges so we don't really get much help from her anymore but again look at look at all this mess look at it just look at it the table there's just no such thing as to like sitting down and eating anymore because it's just taken over with stuff the floor is so messy with all the dog stuff jared left his shoes out and honey is now like taking them over the house it just needs picked up and that's what we're gonna do today do i feel like doing any of that no i feel like doing absolutely nothing but sitting on the couch and i don't feel like editing but i need to edit because i'm just so busy this next week it's starting to feel a little overwhelmed and stressed but that's okay anyway let me go show you my outfit so i can change because i want out of this thing asap it's so cute but it's just i'm wearing my new bra and it's like too tight and the cups are a little too big so it's just annoying but here's the ootd for church it's very fall and i love it i have this green plaid jacket on that i got from shein last fall or two falls ago i don't know and then i have this shein dress on it's like a black scrunch dress which i need to make these longer you can make this dress longer by untying this and then pulling it down i need to do that because it kept like riding up so much and i would just have to like walk around and like hold it like this but it's very showcasing the bump which i really like and i thought it was cute and then i have on my boots that i got from walmart last year yeah just a fun little church ootd i filmed a dress the bump with me for this look so it'll probably be up by the time maybe by the time you guys are seeing this i don't know yet if not you got a little inside scoop but yeah it's coming off as soon as possible because it's driving me crazy and it's hot yesterday it was literally like 40 degrees and today it's like gonna be 85 so boo okay i changed i literally almost forgot to sit down and write a to-do list i about just started like getting after things and i was like you are literally gonna forget something so please sit down and just make a list so to do list what's today i need to charge my watch it's dead which is very unfortunate because i feel like cleaning i'm gonna be walking a lot moving a lot and i always just like to track my stuff i need to pick up the house that's probably what i'll do first other than start the laundry because if my aunt and uncle come to get the vanity i want the house at least like picked up in the floors and stuff looking good then i need to vacuum um i need to film a collab i really really don't know if i'm gonna have time to make that cream cheese pumpkin bread that i wanted to make i don't know we'll have to see after i get all this stuff done that's not like a necessity for today i guess is it a want yes but is it a need no i'm already out of breath and don't feel like moving the broncos probably do not play on tv today because the chiefs play at the same time and if the chiefs play at the same time then the broncos won't be shown which sucks but then again like if they were playing on tv i wouldn't be doing anything except watching it so i guess whatever i need to unload the dishwasher clean the kitchen <sighs> i am feeling so large and just starting to get very uncomfortable. I need to edit my video to post for tomorrow because oh, I'm just, I'm gonna have no free time this week. Tonight and Wednesday are the only nights that I don't have something going on. Tomorrow I work volleyball. Tuesday night we have our second birth class. Wednesday I have an appointment, one of my doctor's appointments. That's at 9 a.m. and then Wednesday night I don't have anything going on. So that'll be nice. And then Thursday I work volleyball again. And then also the Chiefs play the Broncos. So we have that game to watch. And this is like gonna be the first game in probably four years where I think Jared's gonna be home and we're gonna watch it together. Usually, whenever our teams play each other, he's 
has to work like that's how it's been the last like three years i think but i think finally we get to watch a game together which will be interesting because we haven't done that in so long and then friday what's friday friday i don't think we have any plans that'll be a nice chill night probably at home but like just monday through thursday i'm just kind of like ugh not ready for it. Is that all I need to do? I feel like I'm so forgetting something, but I am gonna get started and hopefully it'll come to me. I'm gonna go start the laundry real fast and then start picking up the house. Crossing off my to-do list, I picked up the house, the toys and the blankets in off the floor, cleaned off the table, which the table has not been cleaned off in so freaking long. I haven't seen it clear and I couldn't even tell you when, honestly. And then I started laundry and I'm getting ready to vacuum, but um, first I was gonna use my pet grooming kit. I already did Granger, but I need to do Honey now. This was also the collab that I had to film. So I also did that. So I'm gonna cross that off my list, but I still need to do Honey, and she doesn't love it as much. Granger loves it. He will just sit there and thinks it's a massage. So I have to use like treats for Honey, and I don't have a lot of treats left. And the treats that I have are like big, and you need to use like little treats to like feed them throughout the length of this, or they just won't stay. So I'm just gonna use some goldfish, and hopefully that I can do this by myself because usually Jared and I do it for Honey because one of us has to like kind of hold her, and the other one like grooms her. But yeah, hopefully she'll just cooperate for me today because before I vacuum the floor, I wanna vacuum the dogs because it just makes the most sense, you know? Honey, come here, it's your turn. Good girl, come here. You want a treat? Good girl, yum. Mom's gonna have a treat. Good girl, here you get a treat, Bubba. Your collar's coming off. Let me take your collar off. But then I don't have anything to hold on to you too. Maybe I won't take your collar off. Yours is a little big. I need to make an extra hole. Good girl, she's dripping. <laughs> I don't want you licking me. I don't want you licking me. Wait, mom's hungry too. No. Hey, you want this treat? bad before. It's a freaking vacuum. You're okay. Good girl, sissy. Good girl. Here. Guys, look at how much just the grooming brush took off of honey. This isn't even the de shedding one. This is just the grooming one. So good. Definitely check this out down in my description box. I'll leave a link for it. And I'll leave a 10% discount code for you guys because it is amazing. It's changed the game for brushing the dogs. We've had it for a month now and we really like it. If you didn't watch my last video, Jared even used this on himself because it comes with a grooming kit like where you can like di use different guards and he used it on his beard, but yeah, so good and I love this thing. Now I'm gonna empty this and then use the other brush on her to get more hair off and then I'm gonna actually vacuum the floors. So I am deciding that it is a little rest time. I need to just lay on the couch and edit for a bit because my lower back is hurting so bad. I'm just having a lot of low pressure. So I figured it's time to chill out. I did not vacuum. I changed the laundry, went to the bathroom and I also made a lunch. I made a yogurt bowl and it looks so good. This is gonna be where where and this is gonna be where you're fine. Well, I can't talk. And this is gonna be where you'll find me for the next probably two-ish, three hours. I don't know, however long I feel like laying here. God, it feels so good to lay down. But I'm tired also, so I hope I don't fall asleep. Good thing editing is on my to-do list because it's not like I'm wasting time. I really need to do it. <laughs>
So I just got done cleaning the kitchen and I am exhausted. <laughs> it's 6.51 and the countertops are clean. The dishes are put in the dishwasher, it's going. Sink is all empty. I need to take this out to my car in a minute. My cousin and uncle on their way right now to pick this up, so that'll be going soon. Cleaned that up, washed some dishes, stacked that neatly. Jared's gotta figure out what to do with with that when he gets home. And it's looking a lot better. Honey's already got her bone out on the floor, ruining my clean vibes. But uh, let's see here. I vacuumed, I unloaded the dishwasher, cleaned the kitchen. I have edited my video, it's not done yet, but I'm gonna cross it off because I'm going to finish it. I can hardly believe that I crossed every single thing off my list today, which is crazy. I did not think that was gonna happen after I sat down and was eating my yogurt. I was like, I'm just gonna stop. Like, I'm just in too much pain, I'm just gonna stop. Which is so crazy, because I never expected like, I don't know, like I know pregnancy is exhausting, but I just didn't know how much I was gonna freaking hurt like every second of the day. I don't hurt unless I like start to do a lot and today was a day that I did a lot. My body just hurts so bad. I ate again after, mm, I don't know when. I ate just like a little bit ago. I finished the chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes from Jared's birthday dinner and I was so incredibly full. Like I thought I was gonna throw up and my stomach hurt so bad and I was like, nope, not doing anything else. But I, I pushed through and I did it. So I'm very proud of myself. But I do feel like there is literally no room in my stomach and it feels so tight and hard. Now I'm just waiting for them to get here so I can go shower and wash off my makeup. It is driving me absolutely insane. Anytime I wear eyeshadow, it just like makes my eyes water and then it dries and it just feel, they just feel so uh, gross. I don't like the feeling. But I didn't want to shower before I was done cleaning because that just really didn't make a lot of sense. I have finally made it to bed. I showered, washed off my makeup, and it feels so good. Washed my hair, and I feel so clean. I really hate complaining. Like, I don't feel like I'm complaining. I'm just expressing how I feel. But I am in so much pain. My back hurts so bad. Even just laying here, like, I feel like it should, like, be, you know, a release of the pain. And I literally just got into bed, so it could take a minute. But I just am, I'm in pain. And I know, obviously, I'm so grateful to be where I am today, like, pregnant with this girl. But just because you, like, pray for something doesn't mean that it's not hard. Like, pregnancy is hard. <laughs> I definitely underestimated it. Like, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. But I didn't know I was just going to be in pain pain like 24 7 but we'll get through it i literally cannot believe that i'm almost in my third trimester <laughs> that is insane but i got everything done and i just need to finish my video and get it uploaded and ready for tomorrow i'm definitely closing the video out here because I have nothing left to give of it. But I hope you guys liked spending the weekend with me. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. By the way, I don't exactly know when this video is going up because I have a very long week ahead of me and I think I already said that. So it could go up in four days. It could go up in eight. I don't know. But if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile. Thank you.